Hello everyone, welcome. My name is MJ Pestridge. Welcome to another P3D uh, video. Today we're going to be looking at the GPU um, and if you're in your sim and you have stutters or you have low FPS and, and you just can't figure out what it is, you've tried everything and you're still getting it, um, have a look at this video because this might be what the issue is. Um, it's kind of a link to an earlier video I made um, about the GPU and the CPU's relationship. Um, if your CPU is overheating, um, then Windows 10 kind of limits the GPU because obviously it's a heated uh, device in your PC as well. So if this is running high um, in the sim, at, you know, like 80 degrees, and your CPU is running high at like 80 degrees, well, that's very hot and that can spark a fire. And um, so Windows 10, if your CPU gets to a certain stress level, will automatically shut down the GPU's usage from, you know, right down to like 4% or something, you know, when you're running your sim. So if you if you churn up your sim and you open up your task manager here and go to performance and you see that your your GPU is being reported at only at like between five and eleven percent during a flight, then there is a way you can easily check this. First off, we're gonna problem solve each step, okay? First off, go to the control panel, and that's the old control panel. Go to hardware, sound, power options, and make sure you're not running in power saver mode. Make sure you're running in high performance, and that you've actually, um, and I'll link the videos down below, but you've actually modified the advanced settings to make sure that you're going to be using 100% of your actual CPU just make sure you've set this up correctly um, and I'm, I mean I use the high performance because I've completely configured my settings here so um, the ultimate one like this is for me the preferred one um, and and go into your sim and if your GPU again is not actually activating you know in the sim uh, during a flight so let's see here let's start up the sim then yeah it could be that your 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 you know windows is actually hampering the uh gpu um so first step is to check out your power plan make sure that, that is second step is to check out the temperature of your cpu um make sure uh first off also make sure that your graphics card is actually set in correctly but these temperatures here um, should never go above 75 like constantly they might spike to like 70 75 even 80 uh, like a for a split second but when you are running your sim when you're actually actively flying in your sim these figures here uh the the temperatures for the cores should never sit above 75 by like default like should like naturally just be hitting 75 if they are then there's something not right your 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 cooling system your cpu is overheating which is having a knock-on effect on uh, your gpu which is causing your stutters in the sim um, it's all connected so a way to fix it is to make sure that these temperatures never reach above 70 on like all the time you know make sure that they're below the 70 states and um, if they do happen to spike you know they might spike a little bit once or twice over 75 but as long as they remain under 70 on average then you're fine um, it, again if they are over then look into your cooling system look into how you've cooled your cpu it might need changing you know some coolers uh, in uh, cpu coolers are only good for like two or three years and they need kind of like cleaning out you know get it out there wash out all the crap um, and then put it back in and you'll find that your temps go down again um, and sometimes they even need replacing if they're damaged you know um, or if they're not working correctly they they, they might need replacing completely so go check that out it could also mean like that your um your cpu 
uh, or your GPU is not actually performing as they should. Like if you see the utilization on my CPU, it's near enough a hundred percent. It's being utilized to its maximum. It's at five gigahertz. Its uh, base speed is 4.2, and I'm not using hyperthreading on my CPU because it, it doesn't work well with my CPU. Um, but hyperthreading might work with yours. Um, what it does is it just doubles the amount of threads that you have, and so it evens out the workload amongst all the, the cores um so that means core zero isn't getting hammered like it usually is in p3d um also like your gpu you know if uh, like if it's below um i would say if it's below 25 percent on a constant basis during your flight sim then that's not being maximized to its full potential um obviously the the heat of it is going to have a factor but if this utilization percentage here it stays below 25 percent constantly then your gpu is not getting involved and that is directly causing you to have low fps and low uh or stutters or you know your sim just not to be displaying the um, the settings like you want, like you want to see loads of buildings, loads of trees, but you're having to run your settings right down in order to do everything. And that's because the CPU is actually doing everything. The CPU is what is, you know, running your SIM where it should be a combination of the GPU and the CPU. Another thing you can do as well, if you go into the actual settings of uh, of P3D of, of the Windows 10 here, go to System and go to scroll down to scroll down to Graphic Settings and make sure you've got your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling turned on, and that you've actually set P3D as an app for high performance. Um, and that will ensure that uh, the GPU is going to be doing, when P3D is running, most of the work. Um, you'd really want both the CPU and GPU to be hitting around 60 to 80% utilization um, in order to um, take the maximum most of, of your hardware for your SIM. So one thing you can do to ensure um, that it like it might not be your GPU not getting involved is the issue. Um, like I said, you want to have this sort of running between 50 to 80 percent on its utilization, uh, and the CPU between sort of 50 and 80 as well. Um, anything below, I would say 25 percent, the GPU just isn't rendering anything within the sim, and that's an issue. So um, first off, I would say check your VRAM in the sim. So um, I don't know if you can see this, but my VRAM is 4.4 um, out of 10. Uh, I'm getting 30 FPS, that's fine. Um, but like that's kind of like a little bit of a low air uh, VRAM. But in all honesty, first off, I'm in a default aircraft. Um, and secondly, we're in like Moscow. So there ain't much around anyway. So um, that's probably about right. But if your VRAM is low and constantly low and not actually, you know, sort of sitting at what you expect it to and your frame rate is right down for some whatever reason and your graphics card isn't getting involved one way you can test out to make sure that your graphics card is working is go into your graphics section go into the world section and just bump up all the scenery sliders all these scenery sliders um your graphics card should uh you know get involved to render effectively so if you maximize every single one of these and your vram does not move then that's something wrong there there did definitely your your graphics card is not working as it should and it's most likely your cpu is too hot and you need to cool that in order for the graphics card to get back into action um, it could also be a win a window setting that is causing the uh the cpu to you know uh, spike or overheat or or prevent your graphics card from from working properly so check your window settings as well to make sure that there is nothing like we showed said in the power plan preventing anything from happening that you do not want it to happen um, and I'll put a link to the video that I, I did before about you know configuring all this but um, like that they are the steps that you can take just to make sure now if you've done everything I've just said and it's like well it's the CPU is over temping, so 
one thing you can do, and I'll put a link to everything down below, is is benchmark your CPU and your GPU just to make sure that they actually are performing as they should. Now, I use about three or four benchmarking uh, tools that really push your graphics card. Okay, so for instance, I use uh, MSI Afterburner that ha comes with uh, the Combustor Four um, benchmark. A test and always benchmark it against the 4k setting uh or or if you only have a 1080p monitor the 1080p setting but if i have a 4k monitor so i'm going to benchmark it against the 4k monitor itself so we're going to put this and i'll and i'll put it into full four screen I, to be honest because i'm recording on the same monitor that i'm about to benchmark man this might actually be, have worse results than it should so bear that in mind when i hit this button so what it does is it basically completely puts your graphics card through its paces okay um as you can see here uh the like the stats in the corner it loads uh the your gpu fully with um with graphics um and and it really gets it to sweat a hundred percent load so like as you can see down here i mean you can't see it but down in the bottom here it says gpu load 100 percent speed 21 fps so like in all honesty i can probably in 4k only muster about 20 fps which is why i run my monitor in 2k mode enabling it to run at like 40 fps the temperature is like 80 degrees so like that that's okay but um as you can see it's actually pretty smooth it's not actually that stuttery um even though it's only getting like 20 fps which to, for me i don't like that so we'll, we'll cancel that off uh if i was to run the same test again um in um in 2k like the, the, the results would be a lot different so if we do this again put it to 4k and then benchmark a 2k preset um what are the results so my fps down below here is reaching 35 um, again it's 100 percent gpu load the temperature is lower 77 so this is actually working out a lot better for my gpu than the 4k version which is why in my simulator i set my graphics to 2k rather than 4k it upscales to 4k anyway but it it's being drawn at 2k so i don't need to use 4k textures i i don't need to use 4k add-ons i can set my texturing to 2k and use less um anti-lazing and that's less stress for my pc as well so that really sort of tests your uh, your gpu ability there are other ones you can do as well the ADA 64 um, will test both the cpu and the gpu at the same time um, i believe you there's like an evaluation period or you have to you know buy it um, and then there is also Furmark as well which is another gpu um, uh, tester i believe um, all you do again is you select the preset and it will stress out your gpu and test to see you know uh, the, the like the temperature the fps that it's gaining um, and if it doesn't hit 100 percent, then there is something wrong with your your gpu um, it should hit 100 percent, and if it does hit 100 percent, then your gpu is working correctly it's the software or it's the cpu that is now limiting your gpu if it doesn't hit 100 percent load on these tests then you know there's actually something wrong with your gpu you might want to take it out give it a blow put it back in or even buy a new one because it, it could be just knackered but if it if during these tests it comes to 100 percent load then you know it's either your cpu or windows 10 that is causing your gpu to to go bye bye i'm going on holiday and that is completely solvable easily by you know installing a new cooling system to reduce the temperature on your cpu so it doesn't then knock out your gpu um it, it's it i mean it, it yeah that ba basically that's it you know um so I, w I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. If it's helped, uh, put comments down below. Um, I'm actually going to be running a competition, or not so much as a competition, a giveaway. Um, every video or every month, starting in December, I'm going to give £25 away uh, worth of Sim Market vouchers. This is a, a flight simulation channel. So every single person who is subscribed to my channel, who watches my channel, is in a with a chance. And all you have to do is comment down 
on every one of my videos and I will choose somebody in the comments and they will win £25 worth of Sim Market vouchers and it's at the end of every month that I will announce the winner in the final weeks of that so um, get commenting subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye